Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I told you recently I was going to have an abdominal workout that was even more challenging than the last one I posted, and it's here. What you're going to need is a pair of dumbbells, ranging anywhere from a pound to I'm suggesting maybe five pounds max. So guys, this is going to be super challenging. This is not for beginners, but hey, if you wanna challenge beginners, do it. Your option with this workout is to do it without the dumbbells. So this is just going to give us more resistance, make it more challenging. If we get rid of them, hey, I'm lighter. It's less challenging. Another option, guys, I'm going to give you options throughout, but another option is to reduce your range of motion. So we're going to start out doing a, a crunch option, get rid of the dumbbells. Then we're going to take it into a sit up. Your option would be to stay at a crunch instead of doing a sit up. You'll see what I'm talking about once we get it going, guys. We're gonna move kind of fast, but we're gonna do every exercise with purpose, with intention. We're going to focus on a three by one tempo, meaning one count on the way up and then three counts on the way down. So a lot of the times we'll do one count up, one count down, which is fine. But today we're going to focus on really kind of toning and building muscle on that lowering face. So enough of me talking. I do that, I do that the whole uh, class anyway. So what I want you to do, grab your dumbbells or no dumbbells. Uh, these dumbbells are just going to really amp it up. Highly recommend it. Try it out first before putting them down. You may surprise yourself. Grab them, guys. Uh, let's get to work. Okay, so you have your dumbbells one pound to five pound dumbbells. I have three pounds, I'm gonna feel it today. All right, turn towards the front of your mat. I highly recommend a mat. Feet plant onto the ground, lift that chest up, shoulder blades draw slightly together, grab a hold of your weights in the back of the hamstrings, inhale, long spine. As you exhale, round the spine. I'm calling this a C-curve spine, slight uh, under tucking of the pelvic region, and then we roll down nice and slow. Feel that abdominal contraction? We're gonna get used to that. All right, so bring your hands or those weights to your chest. We're starting off with a weighted crunch. So as you inhale, I want you to draw the shoulder blades off the ground, squeeze the abdominals. This added weight is going to provide more resistance to you and then take it down. So it's one count up, squeeze the abdominals and then bring it right back down. I want you to concentrate, keep that uh, tempo up. One count up one count down. We're not doing that three by one uh, tempo just yet. Squeeze the abdominals, still slow and steady on the way down. Not rushing it, guys. We're not going like that. One count up and squeeze, one count down. One count up and squeeze, one count down. So do not tuck your chin while you do this motion. Make sure you have uh, some nice space in between the chin and the chest. Pretend like you have an apple or a ball under the chest. Pit at the throat towards the sky. Shoulder blades off the ground. And then slow and steady on the way back down. One count up, one count squeeze. One count down. Maybe even a two count down. One count up, one count squeeze. One count down. So your option with this, I want you guys to keep going with those weights. Your option would be, if your neck hurts, what I want you to do, hands behind the head, support the neck and do that same exercise. Shoulder blades still coming off the ground. This is still challenging, but we're now supporting your neck. So if you have any neck issues, guys, any shoulder issues, this option is available to use. Use it. Inhale up, squeeze. Exhale on the way down. Inhale up, squeeze, exhale on the way down. Let's switch up the breath. Exhale it out and squeeze, inhale on the way down. Exhale out and squeeze, inhale on the way down. So I switch up my breath every, um, every so often. Sometimes I'll inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down, and sometimes I'll exhale and squeeze. Inhales, I bring it down. Find what works for you. There's no right or wrong way. There is your way. Everyone has their own version of what works for them. And I want you to do exactly that. I know there's experts in every field that'll tell you one way or the other. But guys, try it out. Trial and error has worked best for me. I have seen the results by just kind of finding out what works for me. Okay, so if you have your weights, you have them right here, or you have the hands behind the head. Now you are welcome to stay right here just with this crunch 
or you have the option next time on the way up guys we're taking it all the way up bring it all the way up chest is lifted shoulder blades draw together now we're taking that slow count down round the spine three two one on the way down one count all the way up chest is lifted knees to the chest chest to the knees now round it he hit each vertebrae onto the mat at a time one count up nice chest we're not rounded right here here's where we start to round we scoop it down vertebrae one at a time one count up chest is lifted three two one my head is down one count all the way up three two one on the way down you may notice you're doing this if your feet are coming off of your mat what i want you to do is squeeze the glutes as you bring it all the way up that's going to help keep your feet planted so we're all kind of weak in our hips in that area and it will help keep the feet planted if you squeeze the glutes and the abdominals at the same time all right guys so i have a nice little bony sacrum and this is getting kind of uncomfortable on my low back. If it is uncomfortable for you as well, what I want you to do is just double roll your mat, guys. If you just provide yourself with a little more cushion on your tush, it'll make all the difference. Guys, we just have a couple more. Bring it all the way up. Three, two, one on the way down. Do you feel it on the way down? Do you feel those abs engage? So this right here is also challenging one more guys one count on the way up five count down go five mississippi four mississippi three mississippi two mississippi and one mississippi great job extend the legs extend the arms overhead right leg goes up towards the sky shoulder blades come off the ground reach those dumbbells towards that right toe then bring it back release the right leg down dumbbells are right above the shoulder straight long so inhale shoulder blades off the ground reach towards your toes and then bring it right back down dumbbells towards the toes reach it up and lower back down reach it up lower down reach the dumbbells up towards the toes lower down with control all right guys so you guessed that your option a would be to do it without the weights reach the hands towards the toes option two hands go behind the head leg is still long option three you're going to shorten the lever with the legs knee to chest chest to knee as you bring it up so you have lots of different options here guys i suggest starting out here and then working your way down now if you're a beginner and you decided to get frisky today after my warning then maybe you want to go with that lever version or if your abs are on fire by now hey guys my abs are on fire i told you this wasn't easy it's not supposed to be easy easy does not change you challenging challenge challenges change you so keep it up guys find your version of what works and we're gonna burn it out reach it up you're still squeezing the abs on the way up lower down reach it up and squeeze lower down reach it up and squeeze lower down reach it up and squeeze lower down give me a few more go right lower down left one more each side guys <laughs> And then we're done. Just kidding. All right, last one. Leave the legs where they are. Extend the arms overhead. Palms face the sky. Now widen the arms into a V position. Legs go into a V position as well until, look, your body is now in the shape of an X. Left leg goes up to the sky. Right arm goes towards those left toes. And then you return to center. So left arm, right leg goes to the center of the sky. Then you release it back down. So this variation right here, X reach. Let's call it an X reach. This variation right here is working <laughs> oh, pretty much everything. Whenever you twist, though, so we're adding that little twist, is what I'm getting at. Whenever you twist, you're working your waistline. That's what's going to give you that nice shape that we all want. One, so reach and then lower down reach and twist right shoulder blade comes off the ground and you're going down with control so one count up at least two counts down one count up one two lower down one count up and reach 
two counts down. If you can go three, I won't be mad at you. Let's do three. Go three, two, lower down. One count up and reach. Three, two, one, lower down. One count reach. Three, two, one, lower down. You feel the difference? Let's go back to like a one count. Let's just feel the difference. One count up, one count down, one count up, one count down. We'll do that one more time at that fast pace. One more this side. Now let's go to that one, three tempo. One count up, three, two, then we're done. One count up, three, two, one. Do you feel it on that two count when we go down? That's where it really starts to challenge me. So slower isn't always easier. One count up, three, two. Oh, we're gonna be sore tomorrow. One count up, three, two, one on the way down, one count up, three, two, one on the way down, one count up, three, two, one on the way down. Come on, give me one more each side, three, two, one, one count up, three, two, one. Legs are straight, bring the legs together. Dumbbell goes back to the chest. We're going straight leg crunches with the weights, straight leg crunches with the weights. So exhale, squeeze the abs, release it down. Squeeze the abs, release it down. Remember your option. Hands go behind the head, head of the throat, reaches towards the sky. All right, if you have any lower back pain, if you have a lordotic spine, any low back pain, guys, what I want you to do is bend the knees until the low back is completely onto the mat. So see the difference? I don't know if you can see it. My back, my entire low back is touching the ground. When I have my legs straight, I have a space now in between my low back. I really have to concentrate on driving my low back into the ground. If so if you have that lordotic spine, you need to do the same thing. No back pain. Squeeze the abdominals. Keep it up, guys. Give me four more. Give me three more. Two more than we hold it. Last one, now hold. Release both weights off to the side. Everyone's hands come behind the head now for a little bit extra support. Right leg points, right leg comes off the ground, point the toe. Left leg comes off the ground, point the toe. Flutter kick it for four, for three, for two, release. Keep holding that static crunch. Right leg goes up, left leg comes up, flutter kick for four, three, two, one, release. I'm gonna show you the option now, but if that works for you, keep doing it. Both legs come up. Uh, option tap the heel four three two one release right leg up left leg up flutter kick go four three two one release now eight count bring both legs up same time go eight seven six five four three two one release one more time right leg up left leg up go eight seven six five four, three, two, now hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, knees go to the chest, hands come behind the hamstrings, give yourself a roll up and a job all done, but guess what, we're not done, grab your weights, one weight in each hand, okay, now I want you to bring those weights together, clasp the fingers, slight lean back of the core, brace it, chest is lifted, shoulder blades are all slightly together. Now we're rotating side to side, abdominal twist. You don't have to touch the ground, but you can if you want. Nice, slow and controlled, really working your waistline. So guys, any back issues, you can bring it a little more straight and work side to side. I want your belly button to at least go to a one and an 11 o'clock position. Mine's going to about, um, I, I got a two, I got to think of the clock in my head. Mine is going to about a two and a 10 o'clock position. So you're either right here or you're right here just reducing your range of motion. It is up to you. So right now we're doing full range of motion. In a couple moments, I want you to cut this motion in half. We're gonna bring the weights up to the chest. Woo, all right guys, bring the weights up to the chest. Let's shorten it, double time. So go one, 11, one, 11, one, 11. Shorter motion, but we're picking up the tempo. Really brace the core, little twist, little twist, little twist for eight, seven, six more, last five, four, three, 
two, and one. Great job. Release those weights down. Guys, we are almost done. Hands go behind the small back. Bigger tips point in. Chest is lifted. Shoulder blades draw together. Stick those boobies out. Knees to chest. Chest and knees. Float the legs. Then extend the upper body and lower body at the same exact time. You guys feel that? Inhale. Draw it in. Exhale. Bring it out. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Extend. Inhale up, exhale, extend. So if that feels good, I want you to stay right there. I'm gonna go to the option. Your option, guys, is to reduce the range of motion. Tap the heels, reduce the range of motion. Tap the heels, reduce the range of motion. Tap the heels, reduce the range of motion. Or, but if you can, keep it here. Exhale out, inhale it in. Exhale it out, inhale it in. Exhale it out one more time, and you're holding, you guessed it, hold it right here. Hands go behind the head, left knee comes in, rotate right elbow to the inside of the left knee. Now switch, oh, we're going for a bike ride today. We have bicycles. So I don't want you to just do this. What I don't want is just you tapping, tapping right here, and the legs are moving, and that waist isn't doing any twisting. I want you to twist right elbow to the inside of the left knee, if it happens to touch, great, more power to you. But if it doesn't, don't worry about it. I want that left shoulder blade off the ground. Squeeze the abdominals. Now switch right shoulder blade off the ground. Squeeze the abdominals. Now switch. So you are twisting. You are twisting and kicking that foot. That twist, guys, I'm telling you, twisting is where it's at, man. That is what's going to shape you. So we don't just want the abdominal definition. We want that nice feminine shape. We want to work that waistline. We want to work those obliques and this is what's going to do it. Keep it up. So your option with this is to reduce that range of motion. You are still twisting, but you're not going as far and you are shortening your lever, which is your foot and you are tapping the heels. Do what works for you. Come on. We have eight. We have seven. Six more guys, and we're not ending there. Come on, I lost count, come on, four more. Last three, last two, last one. I was feeling nice, okay. This is your last exercise. I saved the best for last. Field goal position with the arms, knees go up towards the sky, shins are pointed towards your ceiling. Okay, this is gonna work the waistline. So we're starting with the easier variation to start. I want you to lower this. These are glued together, first of all. These are glued together. Now lower that right outside of the knee towards the right side of the room, hover it. Now use that left oblique to lift it back up to center. Let's do the other side. Left knee goes straight to the side, hover it. Then use that right oblique to lift it up. So go down for three, two, one and hold, one count, draw it up. Go down for three, two, one and hold. Now draw it back up. I'm gonna give you guys a different view, a different view. Take it down for three, two, one and hold. Now lift it up. Go down for three, two, one and hold. Now lift it up. All right, everyone hold right here. I want everyone, hi, I want everyone to try the more challenging variations. See if we can do it. Extend the leg straight, flex the toes towards your shins. Now we're gonna do that same motion. Take it down for three, two, hover that right foot and then draw it up. Guys, let's do the other side. Take it down for three, two, hold. Now lift it up. Take it down for three, two, Hold, now lift it up. So this is more challenging, why? Because we are increasing the length of your lever, which is your legs. We're using this oblique to fire the legs back up to center. Take it down for three, two, hold. Now lift it up. Come on, give me one more each side. Three, two, one and hold. Lift it up. Last one, three, two, hold. Now lift it up, guys. Hold it right here. Feet go to the sky. Let's just add a crunch. Add a crunch. This is where we're gonna end. I changed my mind. We have to do a better burnout than that. Bring it up. Eight, seven, six. Come on, give me five more. Last four, three, then we hold. Come on, two more. 
Last one, hold it up, squeeze the abdominals. Hands go behind the head, or you can bring the hands out to the sides, up to you. Now let's lower those legs for three, two. How close can you get those heels without actually touching? Hold there, let's flutter kick one last time. One last time, guys, and we're done. For eight, how low can you get them? Seven, six, five, four, four, three, three, two and a half, two, and one. Awesome job. Do you guys still love me? I love you. Knees go to the chest. Now roll it out. Draw little circles with the knees. Let's go counterclockwise. Bring it to a stopping position. Oh my goodness. I'm delirious. Hands go behind the hamstrings. Flip it around, guys. Let's take it to a nice Little upward facing dog or cobra up to you. Lift the chest, shoulder blades draw together. And if you're feeling up to it, extend the arms. Let the quads hang nice and heavy. Release the right hip down. Look over your left shoulder. Oh, that feels good. Let's do the other side. Left hip down. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, back to child's pose. Oh, my goodness, guys. Awesome job today. Great work. Hopefully you grab those dumbbells. If you did it though, uh, did you still get a good workout? Yes, you did. And guess what? Now you have something to work up towards. Your next challenge, work your way up to using those dumbbells. Every single day, you will get stronger. And if you did those dumbbells, guys, could you go a little bit heavier next time? That's your next challenge. Guys, always keep challenging yourself. Challenges are what change you. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you like it. What do you want to see? I got more time now. I've been a little MIA lately because I just did a bodybuilding competition. My first one did two. It was my first one. It was crazy. Uh, check out my Instagram if you want to <laughs> see all that stuff. Laurie Midkiff, L-A-R-I-E, M is in man, I, D is in doggy, K-I-F-F. -F. Uh, follow me on Instagram, guys. Stay up to date on my life like you care. <laughs> if you do, do it. I, I love tagging me in your post uh, if you do these videos, guys. I love seeing it. Have a great day.